Om Shanti, welcome back. We're doing the recording of 30th of October's Godly Blessing. Now, removing darkness and bringing light to this world is a task which is said to be done by Supreme Creator or God or Allah or Jehovah. But then He wants us to remove that darkness along with Him. He imparts that knowledge and guides us because we are the ones who brought in that darkness because of our karmas. Now, impure karmas brought in that darkness and the pure karmas will shine upon that light and remove the darkness. It's a ray of hope which God wants us to work upon. And that heaven which we talk about or which we have heard about will only be created once a couple of souls, millions of souls, get together in removing that darkness from within first and be the light themselves. And let's see, Supreme Creator, what does He have to say regarding this? On the same points God says may you be a master son of knowledge who removes darkness from the world and brings light a master son of knowledge creator supreme father or Allah Jehovah or the supreme light is son of knowledge and we being his creation are master sons of knowledge is one who removes darkness from the world and brings light such a soul is an embodiment of light a form of light and might. Might means power. See, knowledge is power, but which knowledge? It's not about the worldly knowledge, not about chemistry, biology, mathematics and other things. That is okay for taking care of the worldly things. But spiritual light or spiritual knowledge is something which is very different. It connects you to power, purity, contentment or happiness, love, peace, wisdom, and blissfulness which cannot be attained through anything in this physical world it's a spiritual world altogether all these seven different areas of a spiritual life so God says that is the might and the light and also gives light and might to others where there is constant light there is no question of darkness where there is peace there is no question of peacelessness where there is happiness and contentment there is no question of sadness or discontentment you see sadness discontentment is darkness contentment and happiness is light so God says there cannot be darkness there those who give light to the world can never be in darkness themselves that means on a daily basis when we do meditation when we work on ourselves meditation can also mean knowing what is running in the background of your mind so in our mind, we can have pure thoughts, the pure applications or programs, or we can have the impure thoughts, the virus applications or the virus programs. Now, these virus applications bring upon darkness and the right applications or right thoughts, which also run as a program. A program is a set of thoughts together, bring about light in this world. So either we are shining upon light on other people, but for that we ourselves have to run those programs in our own mind. We have to think love, we have to feel love, we have to be love, we have to be happiness, we have to be peace. And only then can we move to the next level. God then says, can never be darkness in themselves. Complete purity means light. Purity of every thought, whether it's related to love, has to be pure, whether it's related to peace, has to be pure, whether it's related to divine knowledge has to be pure, whether it's related to wisdom has to be completely pure, whether it's related to joy and contentment, purity has to be there in each thought and that is what is meaning of light. Of course is they have, such souls have no darkness, they have no trace of vice within them. Now vice is a virus, it's like an impure thought in your mind. And if you are carrying those impure thoughts in your mind for a very long time, then it becomes a habit. And then habits break hard. They take time to change. So it's better to be aware. Meditation helps us to be aware of what programming are we doing to our mind. And what programming we should be doing to our mind. For our own sake of peace, for our own sake of happiness, for our own sake of love and blissfulness and contentment. And all of this is being learned in Brahma Kumari is given out at no cost in 150 countries. Also, if you want to join us, you can join us on a weekend session 
from evening 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. And it's going to be there either on a Saturday or on a Sunday. We're going to let you know very soon. For more information, you can contact us, write to us in whichever platform you're receiving this audio format or a video format. With this, Om Shanti.